safe and helpful. Brevity is the soul of wit. Instrument cluster swapping. Immobilizer 3. This procedure details how to change the instrument cluster on Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, Skoda vehicles with Immobilizer 3, where the Immobilizer control module is integrated in instrument cluster. First we need, all the keys for the car. The secret key code for the original cluster and the new cluster. A registered version of VCDS. Now. Connect up VCDS and switch the vehicle ignition on. With the old instrument cluster in the vehicle, write down the current mileage. Write down the secret key code for the original cluster and new cluster. Select the CAN gateway controller from the list. Write down the CAN soft coding. Close controller. Select the instruments from the list. Write down the soft coding. Write down the immobilizer ID and VIN number from the first extra field. Close VCDS. Install the new cluster into the car. Read the secret key code from the new cluster with vag to co and write it down. Switch on ignition and open VCDS. Connect to the CAN gateway then click coding. Enter the number you wrote down. Click on do it and close controller. Connect to the instruments. Then click coding. Enter the soft coding that was recorded from the original cluster, then click do it. Clear the fault codes from the instruments cluster and the engine. Log into the cluster using the secret key code from the new instruments cluster. Enter 0 followed by the 4 digit secret key code of the new instruments cluster in the code box. Connect to the instruments, then click measuring box. Enter group 024 then click on go. Verify that all the lockout timers are 0, 0.0. If they are not you will need to leave the ignition switch on for the amount of time. If all timers are at 0, 0.0 then click on done. Open up the adaptation window. Enter 050 in channel number. Then click on read. Enter 0 followed by the 4 digital pin of the original cluster into the new value field directly in the new value field. Click on test and save. The values may change to 32,000, this is normal. Click on done, then close controller and switch off the ignition and let the car sit for 1 minute, then switch on the ignition again. But do not start car. Open VCDS and select instruments. Verify that the replacement instrument cluster now shows the VIN and immobilizer ID of the vehicle now. If the cluster is used there will be two entries in the field above. Log in to the cluster as above but use the secret key code from your original cluster this time. Click on do it. Open adaption. Enter 21 a channel number. Then click on read. Enter 0 in the new value box. Then click on test. Then click on save. This wipes the old key matchings from the cluster. Enter a new value corresponding to the total number of keys to be matched. Click on test then save and done. Close controller. The immobilizer light should have gone out. Switch off ignition and remove key. Repeat the following steps until all keys have been matched. Insert the next key and switch ignition on. The immobilizer warning light will light up for 2 seconds. Wait until it goes out, indicating that the key has been matched. Switch ignition off and remove key. Note, this steps must be completed within 60 seconds after saving the adaptation. On the next video we will see how to enter the odometer reading. Brief and helpful. Brevity is the soul of wit.